but I've clearly just caught them peeking and lying. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Beardo, and welcome to Beardo Reacts. Demon Bailey has been in touch again, and he has sent me a link to a video. He has basically been vetting mind seed videos, and then he sent me a few to react to, things that he thinks would be really good videos to react to on the channel. So Demon Bailey, thank you very much, my friend. We are going to be reacting to mind seed, ghosts in the dark, scary paranormal activity caught on camera. Also... I am partnered with Gimon Juice. I will leave a link in the description down below for the website. If you vape and you want the best tasting vapes about Gimon Juice, use code Beardo for 10% off. And I would highly recommend if you like Monster Energy Drinks, the Chronic Unleashed and Chronic Candy. Magnificent. They also do them in the these smaller bottles for the Nick Salts. Antidote, great flavour. Anyway, on to the video. I just hope I haven't seen it. <laughs> At first I thought maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me. That was not you, that was clear over here. Cole, Tanner. I can, I can barely believe the response we got. They know to build tension with sound. Does it feel cold though? And I want to know what kind of weird feeling you're getting. Whoa, the legs. Yeah, look. Whoa, you got legs. We were informed about a place called the Anchorage Inn, which is supposed to be this historical mansion. I guess it's kind of turned into a museum over the years. Oh, it's a creepy lot as of it is. people that have lived there in the past have passed away within the home, and since then, it's been classified as a haunted location. Who classifies them as haunted? Is there an official list? I would like to see such list, especially if there's one in the UK. Or to visit them all. It turns out that the mansion has somewhat of a dark history. Quite a few of the previous owners have died here, and even though the house has been passed down generation to generation, it's believed that the ones who have died here cannot leave for some reason. There were a ton of reports from what a different in. guests, workers, and employees that they'd been seeing apparitions stirring up the place and just a lot of activity in general. In fact, there's been so much communication that the owners believe that they can identify the spirits that reside within the home. They said there was a little girl named Clara, an elderly woman named Henrietta, and also an older gentleman named Putton, and I guess he was one of the original owners of the Putton. house. We were also informed that there was a fourth entity that couldn't be identified, and this one was supposed to be a little bit more of a sinister and dark nature to where people feel uncomfortable when they experience or encounter this entity. A lot of other paranormal investigation teams that have been to this location and done their overnight stays have claimed that at certain points of their investigation they did feel like a dark presence with them, so we were all a little bit on edge going into this location. Just get in there and I... Clown is loving life. No spiders. I thought they were sprinting up the stairs then. But it just sped up. Dumbass.
Here there's a lot of activity up in this section. Oh, it's freezing back here. So I like that they're pointing out their own reflections and stuff instead of just gleaming. Oop, look, ghost. Some channels do. What an awesome building to be able to go into. Huh. That's the door apparently where one of the girls said something doesn't want to be bothered in here. <clears throat> Guarantee he's going to bother this? it with the Ouija board. Show yourself to us and we won't bother you for the rest of the night. Lies. Show yourself to this thermal one time. Or light up the EMF detector in Colton's hand. Let us know you're here. And by letting us know you're here, that'll say that you don't want to be bothered. There's another door back here. Is there? Yeah. Get in there. A jar. I see. Oh yeah. It's kind of barricaded off though. Well, we'll leave this door open because they said that they get a weird feeling from this closet. And I want to know what kind of weird feeling they're getting. Guess we'll find out. Will you? I have this ghost tube SLS app. I've got a few of the ghost tube apps. And it must be said, these SLS stick figures, they don't just randomly appear. Um, I have a couple of areas in my house where I've worked out that it's picking up a shape out of furniture. But for the most part, it doesn't really just randomly go off. Um, I've spent a good chunk of time using it, and it's never shown anything that I can't work out as. Um, like We've got a vase in the living room with a flower spree, array, whatever you want to call it, that it sometimes picks up on. But other than that, we've not really caught anything with it, um, which adds a bit of legitimacy to when you do capture something. And these don't seem like the type of guys will just say, right, that, that, that's a ghost. They'll they'll look into it to see if there's a shape there that is mistaken as a human. The door. Show me. Show me yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to move the Is that you? Hello, you showed yourself for a second. We already saw you. Come back. Yeah, it's right next to that door. Kind of too late. We already saw you. You've been rumbled. Hmm. Just for a second. It's gone. Is there anybody in here that's willing to talk to us or show yourself to us? There was one room that felt particularly strange going into, and I don't know if it was because there was a baby rocker in the corner of the room, or if Probably. it was just the energy, but something felt a bit off to me. That is kind of creepy. Someone standing next to Colton? Just picking up his own shadow. Mm -hmm. Who's that next to Colton? Like somebody wanted to sit next to you guys. We'll take a step right next to me in his chair. Oh. That is Whoa. a big cold spot. What do you see? 
Hey, Tanner. Yo. Reach out to your right and down about 45 degree angle. Tell me if you feel cold. Go further. Reach closer, like kneel down. Does it feel cold there? There's a black dot that just appeared on the thermal. Like it just came out of nowhere. It's a portal. It's tough to tell it's because it's cold. In here, in general? Yeah. I don't feel any like increase right here, necessarily. I tried to reach out, see if I could feel anything. I didn't see anything next to me, didn't really feel anything. Honestly? Come here and look at this with me. Maybe you could kick that um, EMF over there in a second, but check this out. When Casey told me to look at the thermal image with him, it appeared that there was like a black spot hovering close to the floor next to Tanner. There's like an abyss dot next to you. I watched it form. How did that Right. That's the wall. Oh, yeah, see if the Celeste picks it up. So, if you're sitting next to me, don't move, stay right here. Me and my friends want to see you. We want to talk to you. Dude, try to go closer towards those pipes. See if it's those pipes. Is there anything cold over there? No. No? Nope. So the strange thing is we always try to debunk events like this, but there was no draft, no AC pipes, nothing that could really be causing this, so we couldn't really come up with an explanation. It doesn't feel colder. Here, let's um let's kill our lights cold. I want to see if anything changes without these lights on. I'll take a seat. We'll relax. I'll just sit and chat with you if you want. If you're willing. Hmm. Do you want this light off? Yeah. There you go. Odd. Are you sitting right now with Tanner? Can you stand up if you're sitting down next to Tanner? It's like a little, it's, it's a little, it's not. I'd like to see it move. Adult size if that's someone sitting right there. You're not be afraid of us, we'll come in peace. Are you Henrietta? Are you Clara? Oh, screen just flashed. Clara, is that you? Can you stand up, Clara? It almost looked like it was sitting on the floor right beside Tanner, and it actually looked like whatever it was started to grow in size on the meter. Can you please stand up and show me? It's moving weird, dude. Larry, if you want to talk, you can talk to me. Speak right here to my camera. Hey, Colt, come look over my shoulder at this. This is kind of nutty. Watch this. Hey, Clara, can you stand up? He looked at it over my shoulder, and he could see it too. At first I thought maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me, but when he was looking at it, he said that he could see it kind of growing in size. Can you stand up again? That was pretty cool. Could, could that not just be a cold patch getting bigger as time goes on? Look, doesn't it look like a little person? Just sitting there the it's like a there. little person. Are you standing? Ooh, it looks like it's, see? it's moving. It's see? It's moving, right? Look, it got taller. It was like... It was sat down before, and then it quickly stood up and sat back down, and it was small again. Can you, can you take a step close to my friend? I don't understand can why you would shrink though. To the guy and that's then... sitting right next to you. Come here, no water, dude. Sitting in the dark, I was unable to see what the guys were seeing, so I was just trying my best to communicate with whatever was there. And then the boy said that there was two. Oh, you got another one on your right now. This is one on the right. On your right is light. It's up here. Yeah. You guys can shake my hand if you want. Can you get permission to touch me? Can what could cause that? Is it possible for you to touch him? Well, what does black represent on one of those thermal imaging? That's pretty weird, man. That's a cold spot next to him because blue is the cold. I don't understand like what the, the black dark is. One just moved again. Here, let me turn the light on. Sorry, Tanner, I know it's kind of blinding. I remember putting both my hands out while filming, and I couldn't really feel anything, but I definitely had that something is watching me type feeling the entire time we were running that test. I've never seen two orbs like this 
on the thermal device where one is like light and one is dark and it almost looked as if maybe one was like a positive energy and one was a negative i'm not really sure but they were both like glowing on each side of where tanner was sitting that is odd really odd i've not i've not seen it was that so myself weird to see the dark orb and the light orb at the same time on the thermal camera but the light orb didn't stay around for long at all. Definitely watching back that footage, it was pretty mind blowing because we really haven't ever had anything that clear on that camera. Typically we can identify whatever it is that's causing the thermal reader to spike. If we see something cold on the meter, we can figure out where it's coming from or the opposite. If it's something hot, we usually could figure out what it is that's producing that heat. But in this case, it was very strange because something black on the meter, which would be cold, just kind of appeared out of nowhere. It's almost like it just morphed into life right and next quite to quickly Tanner, the as well. that we were in. Hmm. We couldn't explain it. We watched the tape back a couple of times, the recording. We sat in the room, tried to figure out what could have been creating the hot and the cold spike on both sides of Tanner, and we were dumbfounded. We weren't able to find a logical explanation as to why they were both there at that point in time. No. First I thought it was maybe the cold air, like something coming through these cracks. Yeah. Nothing. It, let's be fair, they trying to debunk the checking the pipes, the checking the wall, checking for drafts. That's cool. And strange. Cool. <laughs> but when I move back. Oh, it's gone. Whatever it was is gone. How could an extreme cold disappear that quick? Huh. Weird how something could change that drastically just because he's moved. So Odd. Yeah, they're gone. That was wild. <clears throat> you want to go up to the uh, attic? Over here, to the attic and tower. So, oh yeah, with the SLS stuff. I'll come back to this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the window's completely blue and black, because that's cold. Smell it here. What do you smell? It smells like... That's my little baby powders in here. Baby powder? I'm in this bathroom. Oh yeah, this is the doorway connecting the two girls' rooms. Oh yeah. Strange. Very strange. door is cold. It's probably just going outside. <clears throat> Their sound is something else. Okay, I think it's picking up a reflection there. I mean, let's be honest, all we've seen is two cold spots, and they've been trying to head into the attic for five minutes, but the sound design is making it far more creepier than it probably is. That's our reflection. So uh, that's credit to them and they are editing. Okay. Nothing on the SLS? Talk to us. Oh, this room feels a little chilly. Are you hanging out in here? 
Trying to get some privacy? Trying to get some privacy? This room in the back of the corner, she said that was fuzzy. What are you saying, Case? No, I just felt a little cold. I was just trying to see if anything wanted to talk. Why is that chair balanced like that? Are we ignoring that? Wait. Cool. Stay still. That is wild. Don't move. This is shadow. Reach out to your right and down a little bit. It's not a shadow. When I saw the figure of what appeared to be a little girl on the thermal image standing beside Colton, my heart literally sunk to my stomach because it was so visible and clear. Dude, it looks like a little girl's holding your hand right now, I swear to God. I thought it was a shadow until he moved, then it didn't Bring move with him. To you. Don't move. It looked like a little girl, but kind of like a skeleton at the same time. It was very thin, but you could also see like what looked to be like bones, in my opinion. What's your name? Who's standing next to Colton? That's weird, right? Just knowing that other people have claimed to see the spirit of a little girl in the home, and then seeing this on the thermal camera, it's it's just insane. Dude, it looks like a little girl's holding your hand right now, I swear to God. Taylor, come here. Bring your hand back to you. Don't move. Detector, can you come close to this device right here? Talk to like a child, maybe listen. Like, touch the flashy lights. I'm talking to them like they can hear me. I don't know, dude. There's something telling me we should go to the attic. Yeah. Oh, the kids' toy? Yeah. Little girl. What are the kids' toys? You see two smaller figures. Two small figures, yeah. I think we should go out. Makes sense. Alright, I can grab my thing. That was a trip, dude. I could, uh, I could sit here and do thermal sweeps for a little while. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go try to talk to Mary and Clara and okay. see if I can see him on here. And I'll just I think take I should probably seat. try the slaves quarters. You go there then. Or Sophia's room. Go on yeah. with the weird uh, closet. You hit those. Alright, and then I'll go to Marriott and Claire's room. And then we'll right. regroup here or sure. well, what's on the top level? The tower. Okay, yeah, so we should do that too, right? You wanna Casey the tower? Do... Oh yeah. Mm. You get the tower if you want with the EMF. Just All right. the tower. Yeah. I'll try to talk with them, but I think as long as we're maybe different locations separated. Who? That was not you. That was not you. That was clear over here. Play it again. You shouldn't. That just rolled right behind you. Maybe one of them actually yeah. kicked it. Did you just make that ball roll? Did you get it, Cole? Dude, I'm hoping so. I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and then I heard it right when you said something. I'm almost positive I just got it. It was literally over here, right next to this ball. You didn't even walk over there. I'm trying to talk with them, but I think as long as we're in different locations separated. Who? That was not you. Nobody was near it. That was not you. That was clear over here. You shouldn't. That just rolled right behind you. Get on camera. Did, did you just make that ball roll? Did you get it, Cole? Dude, I'm hoping so. I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and then I heard it right when you said something. I'm almost positive I just got it. It was literally over here, right next to this ball. You didn't even walk over there. 
See if they disturbed it by walking, the other one would have rolled as well. We'll have to review it. Let me see some. Are you, are you up here with us? Do you follow us? Do you move that ball? Don't be shy. If you're making stuff happen, tell us. Show us. I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, look. Is that right there? Yeah, that's nowhere near where he walked. That's nowhere near where he walked, dude. Oh, dude, look, look at that. No shit. Look. Nowhere near where you walked when we came up. Look. Where was it? Right behind you. No, where was it? But when it was right here. Yeah. Where's the orange ball? In the, in the camera. That's the orange ball. Oh, no, where's the orange okay. ball in the camera? And then where's the other one? I'm gonna go there and uh, regroup. Yep. I set up in the very top lookout quarters and I started running EVP tests to see if I could get any voices or sounds while I was out there. I just pulled out the device you can speak into. It's recording. If you want to use either of these to communicate. I did end up catching a few more figures on the SLS during my walkthrough, so I decided to set up by myself one of the more active rooms and see if I could get anything on the SLS camera. All right, I'm gonna come in now. I just wanna talk. I'll close the door so we have some privacy. Do something in the corner then. It's just us in here. sit at this desk, if that's okay with you guys. And at one point, I started trying to provoke and asking if whatever was present with us could move that ball. We've already seen you on the thermal. We got an SLS a little while ago. Can you please move that ball that I'm aiming my flashlight at right now? You can do it. I know you can. I hope it moves. Can you just give it a little push? Anything? A little push, give it a big... What? Hunt. Cole. Tanner. What I didn't expect was to see a different ball roll into my sight in front of the doorway. That's the ball that rolled earlier. It actually caught me off guard. I, I think I jumped when I was recording. And then... A second ball rolled in front of the door. Boy. Cole. Tanner. What? Holy fuck. I'm going to play the full clip so that you could see I ran straight in. To the left was a doorway with a somebody on that team had the potential to have rolled that other ball in. But to the right where the orange ball came from, there's no doorways or anything. So where did that come from? How would that have... Cool. Into that room, as soon as I saw both of those balls roll in front of the door, and there was nobody there. Colton was still upstairs, Tanner was still downstairs. How do you explain that? 
got an SLS a little while ago. Can you please Ghosties. move that ball that I'm aiming my flashlight at right now? You can do it. I know you can. You just give it a little push. Anything. <laughs> he proper jumped. Explain. Five in the address to fairness, the last nukes top five I did, there was something that moved. Guy dropped his camera, picked it back up. That's the same thing. So there is the chance to have split the video there and keep the sound rolling throughout. Is that what they've done? I don't know. That way they they could have got whoever ruled the orange ball away. Two balls to other teammates. Potentially. I'm not saying that's what they've done. I'd like to think they wouldn't. They, they you know, they get enough weird shit without having to start rolling balls about. What the fuck? Hey guys. Again, while with a camera on it. Clara? Was that Henrietta? Oh, Putin. When I came back up to meet Casey, he was pretty excited. He said they had seen two balls move on their own. And after watching the footage, I think people just have a really hard time understanding just how intense it is being in a location where we get that direct of communication. Put yourself in that position. You know your friend is in the attic. Your other friend is in the basement. Nobody's near you. And those two balls come past. You'd be a little freaked out. I get that. Yo, Case. Cool. What up? I'm coming. This is insane. Seeing movement like that on camera, or movement of any type, is just exciting. It lets us know that the activity level is high, and also gives us a sense for what part of the building is the hottest for evidence. I got these two balls right here, both moving on camera. Nobody around. I came out here, one rolled in mm. this way, one rolled in this way when I was sitting there filming. Got them both, like, this live. In effect. This orange one in the river? It's different when you see it in person versus seeing it on a video. And I was asking if someone could move this. I was sitting in there aiming at this. And this one came in from this way. And this one came in from this way. And they just stopped, like right in the doorway. Insane. You guys want to do like maybe a spirit box up here with the toys or something? Yeah, this seems yeah. to be the area yeah. that it's doing. Yeah. There's some weird stuff happening up here. All right. All right, let's go grab a pot. Let's go. Investigate that. That's let's go. Cool. Tell us why you like these dolls so much. It seems like you don't want to play with these, you'd rather play with those toys on the ground. I saw you two earlier downstairs. In that, that room when I closed the door. Can you talk to me now? Try a uh, different station. We'll try them. Yeah, because this one seems like it's really. This one seems a little bit more staticky. Maybe you could say something through here. Hello. Hello. 
I still don't have much in the way of um, belief in this spirit box. It flicks radio stations. People say it, you can't pick up um, complete words through it. Yet yeah, I've heard... Um, I've heard advert, adverts that I recognise. I've heard um, news at 11 announcements in the background and stuff. So I don't have much stock in these. Right Why I'm not buying one for my own hunts. The spirit box has kind of been hit or miss lately. It seems like a lot of times that we've been using it, we haven't really been getting too many clear, definitive voices come through. Come on, speak. Say something. Be direct. So at one point I started asking if whatever was present with us could move the ball again. Can it move one of the balls? And it did it right in front of all three of us. Oh. Not really hearing much come through on this, mm -hmm. but when I asked if it could move that, that was nuts. Yeah. So we got the EMF detector here. Can you please move one of these balls in front of us on the floor? Let us know that you're here with us again. You already did it once. Can you do it again right now? Show us that you're here. Well, go Steve, play with his balls. Any one of these on the floor, pick one. That one looks pretty easy to move. Oh, it's kind of cold. You feel that? Very weird. Feels like a cold on the tops of my hands, yeah. Yeah, like ice cold right here now. You already moved the pink one and the green one. Can you move the clear one that I was asking you to move earlier? It's really simple, just give it a little push. Come on, can you please move the... Oh. <laughs> no fucking way. Even watching the tape? They all jumped. All three of them are on camera, nowhere near it. I was watching their hands and their legs to see if one of them made a jerk in action, like if there was a string, and none of them did until after that ball moved. I can... I can barely believe the response we got. See? I fucking told you. My heart <laughs> There's zero way of explaining that. Kinda look like you've shit this pants. This is evidence. On command. No wind. No draft. The ball rolling. It's just insane. Come on. Can you please move the... Whoa. I was looking for some sort of masking effect or visual disturbance, noise, anything. I couldn't see anything that would say that that was faked. That's impressive. No fucking way. There's no way that that could have moved. Wait. It's just insane. What's the... Come on, What's this move? ball? Oh. No fucking way. There's Come on, can you please move the... Oh. 
See that ball's dragged with it. No fucking way. I'm actually really disappointed that I spotted that. If I'm not gonna lie. There's masking in there. Watch all three balls. This is solid evidence on command. No wind, no draft. The ball rolling. It's just insane. This one, this one, and this one, they all move at the exact same time in the exact same direction. If you're only watching this one ball, you, it's easy to miss, but watch this and this, the shadows, everything, it all glitches in the same direction. Come on, can you please move up? Right, let's see moving forward. These haven't moved yet. It's gone past that one ball. Oh. There we go. No fucking way. The top of that ball even disappears. There's masking in it. It was... It won't even... <laughs> That's annoyed me now. Because... I don't react to videos that I know are clearly faked that are pretending to be real. And I've just seen masking. So... There will be no more video reactions to Mind C TV because I've, you know, they haven't made a mistake there and thought there was something in the video that there wasn't. They've cheated. They've used masking. You can see the mask because it pulls everything surrounding that main ball for a couple of frames. They've missed it in editing or they couldn't edit it out. And hope nobody noticed because I didn't see it the first time. It was or watching the replay that highlighted that to me. I'm really disappointed because I was really enjoying Mindseed videos. Which means that I don't believe anything else in the video. Well, well. Looks like Twin Paranormal. I'm going to have to do longer videos and react to Twin Paranormal. That's the last Mindseed reaction video I'll ever do. I'm disappointed in them i'm disappointed that i caught it because i really enjoy the videos and now i've got to find other content but i'm not going to lie to anyone i'm not going to pretend i didn't see anything that i did because that make me as bad and then i can't in good mind then go and do my own ghost hunts being a liar it's actually pissed me off mine ctv rumbled by an idiot well, well. All right, guys. Uh, there you go. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Did I actually catch them out? I think so. They can't really deny that I've caught them faking a video there. Got it. Anyway, I have been Beardo. Uh, I'm going to go look for some new content that's less fake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all like a YouTube stuff. Use code Beardo at Game on Juice. I will catch you in the next one. But for now, I'm Beardo and I am out.